Looking for work? Well, China is hiring top-level execs, but you don't need any experience. The catch is you just have to pretend you're somebody else. Cindy Perman is a writer for CNBC.com. She's here to explain this growing trend in China. Uh, Cindy, this is a really great story that you found. Explain. Well, as it turns out, as, as you know probably, Aaron, uh, face is very important in China. And uh, so when companies are doing anything from opening a new factory to having a trade show, um, they want that appearance of having the connection with the Western world. Um, so they're, the only experience required for these executives is that you be a white guy and you have a suit. So, okay, so then how do you, how do you find these jobs? And you also found some stories um, of some people who said this happened to them. Yeah, it happens all the time, and it's a growing trend. Um, there are actually headhunters that recruit in places like Beijing for this. Now, I guess I should clarify that... Um, if you live in the United States, they're not going to recruit you from here. They are mainly recruiting, um, you know, Westerners who are living in big cities like Beijing. Um, and a lot of these events that take place um, are in more rural parts, like when they're opening a new factory, uh, those kind of things. Um, and they also advertise on uh, websites that are for Westerners, like the Beijinger. Um, people say you see those advertisements there all the time. Um, so it's very funny, actually, because um, they bill this as, you know, a chance to, you know, go on an all-expenses-paid trip, and really you're going to rural areas, um, and once you get done, you know, schmoozing with people, you know, after that, you know, in some cases you're sitting in a fly-infested office. Um, so it's not that glamorous, but the pay is very good. Um, it can pay anywhere from $500 to $1,000 a week. That's pretty incredible. I mean, that's actually, that's a lot of money. And I know the tax <laughs> policy is different too. But uh, yes, yeah, so you told some stories of, uh, you know, someone was supposed to come in and be a quality control guy. Uh, cool. He was actually a freelance writer in Beijing. They, they, they saw him on the street, hired him to do this. And he knew nothing about quality or quality control of whatever <laughs> it was. But he was paid a lot of money to just kind of walk through and look imposing. Well, it's funny, you know, when these headhunters recruit them, uh, the guy that I talked to was saying, you know, they make it clear that you're coming in as whatever you are. In this case, it was a quality control expert, but that you won't actually be doing any quality control. Um, one of the other funny things I found about it is, you know, as with any, you know, cultural exchange, um, there are always some, uh, some kinks. And um, one of the guys was talking about a trade show in one of these rural areas that was for oil equipment and technology. And um, because, you know, part of who they were targeting was other, you know, Chinese, whether it was the local community, other business people. Um, so they, they gave the guys name tags. I mean, a lot of times they give them business cards. And uh, more than one of the guys was named Clayton. Uh, but no one realized that, of course, you know, because most of them don't, you know, read English. And so they wouldn't have right. known that until, uh, until they were long back on the bus to Beijing. <laughs> All right. Well, Cindy, thank you very much. Interesting story. And you can uh, read some more of uh, the anecdotes that Cindy found as part of this on our website, cnbc.com.